Hey everybody, Joshua here from Minneapolis. It's a beautiful day. It is about 85 degrees. Mostly sunny, as you can see. Through the sunroof, I got some patchy clouds here and there, but overall, easily the best day of the year so far. Today is, uh, what is it? Today is the 7th of May. I just wanted to address what's going on the rest of this week and also make an announcement that I haven't really made official on uh, like Facebook and I haven't made a video of it yet but hope to do a flat earth meetup on May 26 2018 sometime in the uh, late afternoon maybe around like four maybe like around this time it's about 4.50 p.m. Central Standard Time. So, yeah, maybe around this time on Saturday, meet at Lake Calhoun, do, like, a potluck type of thing. Maybe uh, grill some food. Bring something for yourself. Bring something for everybody if you choose to. You know, if you have a special diet, vegans out there. Bring something you like. And then... We'll just hang out and chat outside, and we'll set up a, another table or a spot where we can have some interviews done with people, put up some signage, draw some people in, and then maybe we can get some of you guys out there who have yet to interact with the public, interact with a, a stranger, danger, for the first time in a long time, so... I was thinking about that, May 26, I think that's Memorial Day weekend, I'm not, I'm pretty sure that that's Memorial Day weekend, last Monday of May, and so, yeah, I also wanted to address some people out there in the chats, comments, particularly Flat Earthers. Um, you know, I appreciate your constructive criticism and regards how I go about my business when I'm on camera, talking to the public and so on, but, you know, as I said at the beginning of the year, the passive aggressiveness and kind of, you know, feeling like I got a coddle these people out there, um, it's not going to happen so much this year. And so people out there who want to comment and say I'm condescending and, uh, you know, I don't go about it in the right way and I'm going to push off somebody from flat earth forever, uh, I hope you know how prideful that sounds and that's not a really good argument. I can't permanently push anybody away from Flat Earth, and I, I got this a lot when I first believed about 11 years ago, and I was kind of had this evangelical heart, and I was sharing Christ with people, and sometimes I wouldn't say the best thing, and you get people, when you talk to them, and you say, hey, yeah, you know, I've talk, I came across this person, and this is how the conversation went, and somebody would say, wow, I wouldn't have said that, you know, like... You better be careful with what you say. You might push somebody away from Christ and they might not ever believe. Well, that, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it's really the Holy Spirit that draws a person to God. And it can be a person's pride and ego that keep them away from experiencing truth like flat earth, which you can demonstrate, observe yourself, and prove it to yourself that we live on an immovable, motionless plane where water is level. So, I don't have the type of, I guess, ego to go around and think, I gotta walk on eggshells and make sure that I don't say certain things or I'm gonna push this person away. It's not really how it is. This is the most confronting topic in decades. I mean, hundreds of years probably, certainly since 9-11. And so, 
to, to go off on me and, and try to police my thoughts and emotions, I think that you're kind of out of bounds on that. You're, you're kind of stepping on who I am and my character and why I do this. And if you can't really see the genuineness of who I am and you want to think I'm a shill or call me, call me names because I don't do it the way that you would do it, I would love for you to make a video then. You make a video of you talking to the public, both positive and negative, getting both responses, and put it on YouTube. Air it out so we can all see what you're doing. Uh, I, I say that to encourage other people to do public activism, but also for those who don't have a good grasp on how to communicate to the public on a regular basis. And I try to answer, you know, their questions in a manner that is respectful. And when I get respect from people and whatnot, then, you know, most definitely I'm going to try to deliver that same respect. But you don't have the, the concept yet. You don't have any kind of comprehension that talking about this in public is 180 degree difference than talking to people online and your keyboard warriors, your trolls, your gamers who come into the community and, and come up with the same questions. You know, how do seasons work? Eclipses, tides. And I got, you know, plenty of people or, or people maybe that just hold their tongue and they don't say anything but I got this, you know, what I what I tend to do is just reruns, or it's kind of not anything new. Well, yeah, it isn't anything new, you're right, because I'm coming against and talking to people who literally have never heard of Flat Earth, and they think it's a joke. Or, the other side of that coin is, they've heard of it, completely dismissed it, and then come after me and say, you have to be joking. I, I actually had multiple people on May 2nd say just that. Like they walked away and then moments later they came back and they said, I had to come back here because my friend and I thought you were joking. Like this is a joke, right? Like this is a social experiment. You don't really believe this. And that couldn't be any further from the truth, obviously. But you're gonna this this is this is really strictly an online thing out there. This is a YouTube internet sensation where everybody here, all these people driving around, think that flat earth is a joke. It's not a concept that should even be uh, you know, humored, let alone make a, a documentary about it, and you need to move on and grow up. Like, that's what these people here think, okay? And so, you have to, I, I really don't know well, how, to, how to convey this message in a manner that would help you understand that these people really think me standing out there with a sign Whatever that sign might say that's leading them to either outer space is not as prescribed by the mainstream media or Hollywood. And B, what do you think about Flat Earth? Like that, that doesn't not only cross these people's minds, it's not important to them. Why does it matter? And okay, you're out here doing that, but you're, you're joking, right? Like this isn't a real account. <coughs> of what you really believe and what the conclusions that you've come to. And I don't know, I, I don't wanna say like it's, it certainly isn't swaying me from being active in the community regarding, you know, open air activism and, and talking to people. But really until you, you know, have a regular, a, a regular, you know, I, idea or just you're out there 
talking about flat earth to strangers or your co-workers uh, it's really hard for for you to understand and, and realize how difficult you know this is to always be on your toes and thinking you know how do I overcome what this person's saying and how do I discern uh, whether they're being really genuine about their questions or if they're standing right in front of me trolling because they don't think what I'm talking about has any merit to reality like they they really honestly think that I'm trolling them and I'm just out there to uh, get a reaction out of people and and test the waters and see well maybe flat earth you know just isn't gonna work for us you know society maybe we should just you know pack it up and turn around and that's just not that's not real reality like that's not where we live if you've taken the uh, uh, you know the red pill if you will to get to this point uh, you you understand like that this is reality like living on a immovable motionless plane and so you know some of the worst people you know in the Christian community if you want to call it that are Christians those are gonna be your biggest critics those are gonna be the people who nitpick and question everything that you're doing all your intent uh, how you go about your business uh, always the critic never the creator uh, they don't they don't know anything firsthand and they just sit and watch YouTube channels all day and they're either a closet flat earthers or they think that they started it all and you need to do what they do and if you're not doing what they do then you're screwing it up and everybody is gonna just be so turned away from flat earth that you better get your s together or you're gonna turn all these people away and that's just not realistic that's not how I go about my business you can't you can't know what I think and what I what I do behind closed doors before I go to bed you know I think about this all the time I criticize myself all the time I always think what I could have done better what I shouldn't have done how to change things up but generally yeah you're gonna come across a lot of reruns there's two things that I'm gonna be doing this summer standing there holding a sign waiting for people to come and interact with me with a continuous stream and you're gonna hear me talk you're gonna hear my opinions and so on and so on and if you don't like that fast forward or don't watch the two hour long uh, you know episode if you want to call it of me standing there holding a sign so that you can experience what I'm experiencing and see what it really takes to stand there for 90 minutes two hours three hours and, and really get in depth hear my opinions I mean if you don't want to hear what I think you know carry on you know this is my platform if I want to sit there and talk and have dead air for 20 seconds I'm gonna sit there and stand there hold a sign for 20 seconds and not say anything if you want to edit my videos you come out and meet me okay get my get the memory card come out edit it Okay, so and then that same day you come out and you give it to me so I can then upload it on my channel because you're not going to get the passwords to my YouTube channel. So if you can do that and you can edit down the video to just the interactions, that's great. But you know, other than that, I just uh, I don't have time for that. Okay, you know. Second thing that you're going to see is like today, I'm going to set up a table have some signage around the table and just sit there listen to music and have the information on a table and yeah invite people in to come chat and see what they have to say see if uh, they have any uh, new things to say or if it's always gonna be the same thing so you're always gonna hear the same questions the same talk same topic all over every day when I make a video you know so you know you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't with with a majority of just people in general and if you don't like what I do if you don't like my platform my channel me um, if you if you think like if you can come out with me and you and I can 
do some activism together, but then you find out that um, I don't necessarily agree with a particular doctrine or like a, the rapture, for example, and you think that that's enough to tell me, hey, you know what? I don't agree with what you think about this topic regarding Christianity. I don't want to do activism with you anymore. See you later. Like, if you're going to really hold that against me and say, hey, you know what? I don't, I, I don't like how what you think about the Ten Commandments. And that's exactly what happened to one of the guys that you've seen me do activism with. And, I'll, and it's not David. And so that's what I got from one of the guys. He said, you know what? I didn't come out with you today. And I basically ignored your messages because I don't agree with what you think about the Ten Commandments. Okay. That, and, and that's enough for you to not want to do activism with me anymore? Yeah, basically. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, man. Well, see, see you later. You know, like, if that's going to really be the dividing tool... Not that I, you know, hey, you know, you still believe Jesus Christ is God? Yep. Believe he died for us? Yep. So on and so on. The whole gospel? Yep. But, you know, this particular thing, which has nothing to do with salvation, uh, I can't hang out with you anymore because I don't agree with what you think about it. And so, you know, yeah, we're going to have to come across that a lot, too. And I've had it, talks with Christians on uh, various, uh, you know, on comments coming at me saying, hey, you know what? I didn't show up at that last meetup because you were on Dell's channel and Dell's a Satanist. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm not allowed to talk to anybody. You're, you're going to rule over who I can and can't interact with. Okay. Cause they're going to affect my salvation, right? Like their, their non-belief in, in the biblical God and not choosing to follow that line of thinking, that means that I'm not supposed to talk to them, interact with them, uh, in, in regards to sharing flat earth. Because they're going to affect me, because all of the people in their chat room, and on their live stream, and that comment, and watch their videos, all of those people are Satanists too, right? So they have to be, because... I'm not allowed to talk to any of them people. They can't see my testimony that I do the same thing that, you know, Dell and John Smith do. I just go about it in a different manner. Uh, so that means that I'm not a Christian. I'm not supposed to talk to other non-believing Christians. Uh, everybody's a Satanist. And if you don't completely agree with me on all doctrinal issues regarding the Bible... I can't do open air activism with you either. And so that's why I'm I'm by myself, I guess, doing this today here on May 7th, Monday, all by myself because I invite people to come out and do this activism with me, but nobody's really saying, "Hey, you know, are, are you available anytime this week to hook up, maybe we could like do 90 minutes at the U, two hours, and get some food and hang out and get to know each other. Nope, don't get that. It's always me trying to, you know, go out and draw people in and say, hey, what are you doing today? You want to do some activism today? So, you know, yeah, and I complain about it, but am I going to still do that? Yeah, I probably most likely will try to draw people and invite people out. But it's good to, um, you know, just, I'm just venting, you know, I'm letting you know kind of where I'm at, how I feel about, you know, everything that's kind of been going on the last, you know, week or two in relation to, you know, my uploads and get back at you guys. Thanks for commenting and showing yourselves out there. I, I do appreciate, there is a lot more positive comments than there is negative, you know, I mean, let's be fair, let's, Let's be honest about that. There's there's a lot more positivity out there than there is negative. Um, I appreciate if you don't agree with everything that I'm doing or how I go about it, but you're just like, hey, you know what? I'm glad that you're out there doing something, though. And I appreciate that. And I see you out there. I appreciate um, the encouragement. And I'm going to start, you know, with those brochures sometime this week, hopefully next week, and, and get... Uh, you know, a top five or top three proofs of flat earth teaching 
pamphlet to be able to hand out to people and use as a teaching tool. So if you want to help with that, I mean, it's not cheap to have things printed. Um, if you have had bad experiencing helping financially to other causes for Flat Earth and you don't want to help, then I just need prayer. You know, I mean, seriously. Um, the money will be provided. <laughs> you know, it will happen. Um, but I just use that as an opportunity to say, if you want to get involved, you know, if you want to, if you want to help move things forward, you know, get involved. Um, give me so I got, I got zero, I got one person actually, one person, uh, Martin from England last year when I gave him this same concept, he is the only one that responded with a huge list through email. This is a good proof. This is a good proof to put in there, this, that, and the other. Nobody else has helped, you know, so it's like, who am I even talking to? You know, am I talking to flat earthers? Am I talking to people who want to be in a club? Am I talking to people who want that pride and that feeling of, I got one over all these people here at the gas station and they don't know? Um, or you're a closet flat earther and you're waiting for all this to blow up so you can finally relax, you know? Um, but again, I appreciate everybody that's that that is out there um, when I go into live chats and and whatever uh, you do you know I do feel your your energy out there for for what I'm doing and I, and I really do appreciate that so I'm gonna get uh, some petroleum for my car and then head out to this location and hang out for a couple hours and we'll see what happens talk to you soon